don't you know, you can change everything. All you have to do is fight and yell and protest and riot and just get out there with signs and scream at people. And if someone disagrees with you, all you have to do is become violent with them. And you can change everything, right? Wrong. Eventually, you realize, accept things just the way they are. Welcome to the first precept of Dakodo. Accept things just the way they are. When I began to contemplate on this first precept, it, it really hit me because this was someone who had spent their entire life trying to change the world around them. Trying to overthrow warlords to put other warlords into power trying to fight with other master samurai to prove that they were superior, trying to change the power dynamics of the world around them, trying to set a name for themselves and prove that they were more powerful and more capable than anyone else around them. If something was, in their opinion, amiss to use violence and force and trickery to change that situation, and at the end of their life, they realized that they had to accept things the way they were. They had changed nothing. And I thought about that to today's world. I imagined this young person in a small town that said, I am going to go overseas and I am going to help make change. I am going to join the military. I am going to fly overseas. I am going to help change things for the better. And so they move towards that plan, that goal. They join the military, volunteer for more and more particular units, highly trained units. They go overseas, they fight the battles, they see their friends lose their lives, they see the loss of life around them, of the community, the destruction, the attempt to rebuild after the fight, the attempt to establish some sort of community connection. And years later, they find out nothing has changed. Nothing for all their effort and all the loss of life. Nothing has changed whatsoever. This is a difference between the West and the East, where there is a belief in the West that through force and voting and you know political forces and elections that you can change anything. The fact is you cannot. The fact is you cannot change anything through these. When real change is made, it is made by the people. Uh, it is not made by politicians who move things one degree this way, one degree that way, generally by what corporation controls them, not by what the people want. And ultimately, serious change occurs when the people want it to occur. Um, when there is massive loss, when there is destruction of the current system, when the current system completely fails. And in the East, there's much more of an acceptance of the way things are are even as governments change there is a belief in follow our pattern of life our pattern of life to wake up eat breakfast work eat lunch work and then in the evening we come together as a family we dine and we sleep this sort of ongoing pattern of life and as again as governments change and wars come through and forces come through your land that system of life never changes. I wonder how energy will be expended. As a young person, energy 
expended to enact change. And you work so hard at it, you think that that is the right way to expend your energy. Through protests in the street, riots, rising up, burning your city to the ground. These are what you believe will enact change. In actuality, it either works against what you want, or it does nothing to change anything at all. It's either disadvantageous or utterly useless. All that energy spent. And I think about the spending of energy to enact change where you can make a difference. If you can't change what's going on around you, what can you change? The fact is, you have control over yourself. The first thing that I would come to understand is that I can't change what's happening around me. Those forces are bigger. And the more I push to change the world around me, the more it pushes back and I end up losing freedom or money or be caught up in some violent act, some protest in the street serving nothing and changing nothing. But I know I can change myself. I have control over that. I have the ability to learn something new, learn something valuable. I have the ability to change the way I live my life, to live healthier, to exercise every day. I have the ability to control how much I eat and what I eat. I have direct control over these things. I can control my life completely. I have complete control over it. How I live my life, what I do with it, what I learn, the work that I choose to do, the quality of work that I choose to do, the way I choose to take care of myself physically, and the way I choose to think about myself, how I choose to build the narrative for myself. I have control over this. I do not have control over what happens around the world. I don't even have control of what happens in the immediate city around me. But I do have control over what I do. And so by focusing on that, I change my life for the better. I might change how I live my life. I might change what I eat, what I buy, how I work out. I might even change my location. I might move. I might physically move. That is what you can change. Accepting what you can't change and to stop spending so much of your time and energy trying to change that which you cannot and instead focusing on yourself. That is a point of wisdom the younger you can get that and figure that out, the better. You can choose who you put around you. Who you surround yourself with. If you surround yourself with people who believe that the world is so evil and so horrible and so unjust and that you're all victims, you will start to believe these things too. If you surround yourself with people who want to get ahead, who are motivated to be healthy, who are motivated to learn something new and to achieve the next stage in life in education, finances, health, they want to move themselves forward. If you surround yourself with those type of motivated people, you will become like them. You will uh, become the people that you surround yourself with. You have the power to change this. You have the power to remove those that are bringing you down and that are telling you these lies of victimhood. And you have the power to add people and surround you that are going to motivate you and tell you you can do 
whatever you set the goals to go do. You can make the plan, you can move towards it, and you can achieve that. And it really comes down to that those that you associate with, you will become them. When you understand what you cannot change, when you understand what you can change, you start to take on personal responsibility, accountability for yourself. As hard as you push and fight to change the world around you, which you will not, you start to realize that efforts to change yourself are fruitful. You take personal responsibility for yourself. Accept things just the way they are. To me, this still rings true to this day and represents focusing on what you have the power to change and not focusing on what you don't have the power to change. Thank you, and we will move on to the next precept, and we will continue to discuss the modern interpretations of Dokodo, the path of walking alone. I will see you again soon. Please comment, and aloha.